All right, what's up everyone? We're back with another game hunting video. Now, if you're new around here, we're doing what we always do, which is hitting the local charity shops of Ireland. Try and find cheap games that we don't have that we can add to the collection. Or maybe games that we do have or other bits and pieces that we can bring up to CEX, get a nice bit of trade credit and trade them in for something nice. So at the moment, we're on a hunt for a copy of Twilight Princess HD on the Wii U. Now, it's currently running about 100 quid in CEX. And when we left off at the last video, we had around this much in trade credit to go towards that. So. Didn't really add anything significant in the last episode, just a couple of euro. We did find a few interesting items, but we're gonna treat those separately because we're gonna be strictly looking for stuff that we can bring up to CEX to trade in to get the game for. So you're gonna take the face plates and a couple of other bits that we picked up in the last video and use that fun towards the new laptop that we need for the channel. I mentioned before that we want to kind of keep improving on the editing and we sort of need to upgrade the hardware a little bit if we're gonna to get to where we want to be with the videos. So yeah, that's gonna be kept in a separate budget. So today we need to get back into our bread and butter and hopefully find a few nice games that we can bring up to CEX and really start building up this trade credit. So look, we'll have a little look at that later on. We'll talk about our plans for the face plates, how we're gonna try and shift them on and help build that budget. We're outside the first charity shop now, so let's jump in and see if we can get a few games to start the day off with. So lots of Lego if anyone's after that. And Paw Patrols. All right, so we actually got a decent pile of games in there. I couldn't really talk about what I was looking at much because where the games were, I had to pretty much climb over to get them. There was someone down the home because just ruined through all the kids' books and stuff like that, but definitely a few there that we don't have and definitely a few that we should be able to trade off. So at least the budget is going to be moving up in this one, but we'll get back in the car now and have a quick look at what we just grabbed there. So we're not going to go through them individually. We're going to keep moving because I just realized they only brought one battery with me because I was only planning on hitting the few shops and I've used up a load of it there already. I just left that record in the background while I was waiting to grab the games, but spent 15 euro and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. Now there's a couple of absolute stinkers in here, but they were only a euro each. And I actually wanted the nice Xbox 360 cases to kind of, just to kind of swap out a couple of manky ones that I have in my collection. So there were just the old Skylander ones. I don't think these are the ones that are worth anything, but you look, we'll have a double check before we throw the sleeves and stuff out. But yeah, nine games off to a good start. Let's head down to Gabarak now, go into the one of the two where we never find anything and see if there's anything in there. I can't even remember which one of these two is open. Is it the good one or is it the... Oh, it's just the good one that's closed. Well, that was a waste of a stop. I'm not even going to bother showing you the shop, but found absolutely nothing. Obviously, managed to spill water all over myself. Tried to make change because we need to pay for parking in the next one that we're going to, and I made the balls of my calculations there as well, so we're going to have to overpay for parking, but maybe it's all going to be worth it. Maybe we'll get down there, and there's going to be a load more games for us. The signs everywhere for this pay display, but I don't know where you pay. Maybe just bring a super value bag with me and pretend I'm actually shopping there. It might be all right. Actually, you know what? Here it is now, but we'll just pay it just in case. Can I get a ticket or... We're good for two hours speed. There's not much charity shops in the area. I'm just looking at all these cars around here as well. I think I'm literally the only agent that's paid for parking. Yeah, at least we're all above board. All right, so we're just walking into this one now. I actually think the last time I was here, I got some games. I remember getting a Wii Sports for like three euro here before, and a couple of the games were priced up around five euro. Some of them worth it, some of them weren't. But I don't know. Let's jump in, see what happens. Sorry. All right. Yeah. 
that compared to me. I know I'm very good. Yeah. See, and nothing in that last stop, unfortunately. It'd been a while since we've been down there in fairness, so it was worth popping the head in just to see. We'll go down another day, maybe next week, and see if anything turns up then. But we're just heading to Jack and Jill now. I'm kind of taking a bit of a mad shortcut that I think I took before, so hopefully I know where I'm going here. Um, but you just said I'd throw the camera on and talk to you guys instead of staring at the map thing on my phone, because at least then I'm not going to overthink it. And if I'm going to get lost, I might as well get lost with you guys. Now, funnily enough, I was walking down to that last shop and just took the phone out to see if there was anything on it, and I actually had an email. And that email was congratulating me because I've just been welcomed into the YouTube Partner Program. I don't really know what to say about that, to be honest. Like, when I started the channel, it was just a bit of a hobby. I just wanted to learn how to kind of edit videos using iMovie on my old crappy MacBook that I had at the time. And I never really had any big ambitions for it. I kind of just thought it'd be really cool if maybe we got like 100 views on a video and then all of a sudden we had 100 subscribers and we thought, Wow, like what if we can get to a thousand subscribers and at the time that was such a far-fetched sort of ambition but we got there last year and the channel has just been growing slowly but steadily ever since but yeah today to get welcomed into that youtube partner program that's just it's absolutely crazy like i mean a thousand subscribers is one thing but to get four thousand watch time hours in the last year it means people are actually enjoying the videos and sticking them out so I could talk about it all day. I don't know what else to say except just thank you so much to everyone that's followed the channel. I know there's people that are here since the very start. I know there's people that are only fairly new, but it means the absolute world to me that there's people out there checking out the videos and following along every couple of weeks when we put the videos out. So honestly, thank you so much. It means the absolute world to me. I suppose it's a good time to say, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you're enjoying the videos, please consider subscribing now. Even if you think you're subscribed, just have a little look down there and make sure that you've clicked it because well over half the people that watch the videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So if you're not subscribed, you're missing out on all this amazing content where we're driving around finding absolutely nothing in the charity shop. So we actually did find a pile of games today, so maybe that trend's gonna continue now and we go into the Jack and Jill here and we find another pile of games. Fingers crossed, let's jump in, see what happens. No. All right, so no games jumping out, but we'll have a route through the DVDs off camera, and if we find anything interesting, we'll jump back in. Last stop of the day. We are going to get back out again tomorrow, as I mentioned earlier on, so not all hope is lost, but let's hope at the end of the day on a positive and find a nice little pile of games in here. That's with the steering wheel. Just going for three quid on eBay. 386. Ah, it's one we don't have, maybe we'll just grab it. So we ended up with one more game before the end of the day. Grabbed a copy of F1 2009 on the Wii. I don't have this. It's in absolutely perfect condition. It was selling for three euro. I couldn't find it in CEX without the wheel, but with the wheel it was going for about 18. And eBay sales were saying it probably is worth about three or five. So we just said, why not? We'll grab it for the crack and bring us up to a nice even 10 games for the day. 
and then just miscellaneous stuff grabbed uh, an ikea picture frame because it was going for a euro or two and we probably have like some sort of a game poster home we can put that into it and get it up on the wall so yeah as i said we will get back out tomorrow but we'll head back to the game room now take stock of how we did today and then i'll see us back out on the hunt again in the morning so just about to head out the door on the day two hunting and just realized that although we've built up some trade credit we haven't actually traded anything in to get a physical voucher yet so this is the current situation on the trading shelf these are all ones that are trading for over a euro a lot of these actually came out of the bag of stuff that was trading for less than a euro only a few months ago so some of these have really gone up and then i made these little piles earlier in the week just stuff that's been sitting here for about six weeks or so and i just kind of briefly marked out this pile here that was trading for 49 quid when we compiled them originally and now they're only trading for 33 60 so that's a loss of 15 40. But then on the other hand, we've got this little pile here, which was about 25 quid worth of trade value. And now it's up to 35, which is plus a tenner. So I don't know, probably minus about five quid by sitting on the fence with some of it. But like I mentioned, a lot of this stuff has kind of crept over the, the couple of quid mark. Obviously, a few of them that were mixed in were worth a few quid. But I don't know, we'll get a decent little smash one from here now. Try and bring well over the value of what we're looking for, just in case a few discs get rejected and stuff like that. And then we'll do a little update later on how much trade credit we physically have in vouchers then from CEX. So I've just gone ahead and randomly picked out 11 titles here that come to about 50 quid. So should get us over the line with the 38 that I believe that we have in the bank already. If you do take them all, great, because it'll probably get us up to speed from what we picked up yesterday. But we'll bring this little pile up to CX at some stage later on today and see how we get on with it. All right, so it's day two. We're back outside the first one that we went to yesterday. Don't know if we're going to find anything. There were a lot of donations gone in and out when I was in there yesterday. So you never know. There'll be another little pile of games waiting for us. But if not, we're going to hit a few more. We're not going to do an identical route to yesterday, but we're going to hit a few of the same ones and then we're going to head out to Swords and see if there's anything in the two there and then we'll wrap it up back in the game room. Oh, we have a pile of trade in to bring to CX as well just to try and get our current trade value back in voucher so we have them ready to go in case we get up to that 100 euro and we spot a copy of Twilight Princess. But we're going to jump in now anyway, see if there's anything in the first one and head on down to the next ones and hopefully we have a successful day of game hunting and we end up with another pile of nice games. So Mrs. Retro Games Ireland is with us today. She's gone in looking for what she claims is the nicest almond croissant in the whole country. So hopefully she has success on her hunt. Let's continue our see if there's anything here since yesterday. So yeah, just the ones that we left in here yesterday. This is anything new. I think you need to look at the toys yesterday. guys in the neighborhood. They've got the look. Wow. So unfortunately that stop was a double failure. We had no new games in the charity shop and no almond croissant either. So Mrs. Retro Games Ireland is devastated here beside me. But probably a bit of a long shot going in looking for games again two days in a row. But we we're out in the area anyway, so I always say just pop in because you never know when it's the right day, right place, right time, you know the usual. But we'll keep heading down now. We're going to the two where we never find anything. We went into one yesterday where we definitely never find anything. But the other one where we got the plates on the last couple of visits is open again today. So we'll pop the head in there. Might just do one more local one and then head down to Swords, see how we're getting on. But we'll keep moving and see if there's anything in here. Croissant. Co croissant. 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 It's croissant if you're like French or something, yeah. but like not over here. Croissant. 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 Almond. Almond croissant. So the hunt continues. Two charity shops for me and a random coffee shop that may or may not have an almond croissant for Mrs. Retro Games Ireland. All right, so another double failure there. No surprise, really. We've done well the last couple of weeks, but nothing today for us in the two there in Kilbarrick. We're gonna head down to Jack and Jill now. We've given up on the almond croissant hunt. That's dead and buried, but the game hunt is still alive. You know us here. We keep going to the absolute death. Going back to Jack and Jill, going down to the other one on the way, and then we're gonna hit the two and swords. Hopefully we get a few in there, but if not, as I said, we're gonna bring the pile of games into CEX, do a little update on our trade budget, and then we're gonna go back to the game room, have a look at the games that we picked up yesterday. And a couple of nice bits have come in since then as well, so we'll have a look at those too. So plenty to look forward to towards the end of the video, but we're gonna keep moving now, head down to Jack and Jill, and you never know, hopefully there's a miracle and a lot of games have appeared since yesterday, but we'll get down there and see what happens. All right, so we're going back to Jack and Jill again. Mrs. Retro Games Ireland has gone ahead and gone into Chemist Warehouse without me, so we've been saved from that, but let's jump in here and see if anything's turned up that wasn't here yesterday. Thank you. 
Oh, it's new. That's all right then. <laughs> and your own balls. So we're in and out of Jack and Jill too quick and it doesn't look like she's emerged from the chemist warehouse yet so it looks like we're gonna have to face the music lads. Yeah so Mrs. Retro Games ordered bought nothing and I spent 26 euro. Well I needed eye drops and that cookie thing looked absolutely delicious so it's like I couldn't leave it behind. I mean it smelled amazing when I opened it but no. Now as a backup went for this wafer one because there's no sugar in it unlike the old cookie there but this is very fancy look it comes wrapped in individual foil and everything so I have to give this a wallop. Okay girl. Yeah you take that one it's open. Have to open it. So, oh, jeez. Yeah. It actually smells like a proper chocolate wafer thing, doesn't it? Like a knopper or something. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm. I know this one definitely wins the battle of healthy snack foods that are high in protein. What? Mm. <laughs> definitely recommend that one. Something got a load of me up. All right, so one more repeat visit from yesterday, and then we're gonna shoot down the swords and see if there's anything in the two down there. That would actually be a class bone bag if I had the waist of a child. All right, so I couldn't get in at the media there to show you on camera, but got a little sneaky look, and there was absolutely nothing there since yesterday. So we head down to swords now, see if we can find anything there. Alright, so we're just outside CX. We're gonna bring our bag of trade in. Obviously, we can't spend anything in here because it's sort of pre planned, but we'll have a look around the shelves and see if we can spot anything interesting over here. that hurts us a little bit. We only got 27 euro in trade credit there. A few of them are a little bit too scratched. To be fair, I kind of just grabbed them on the way out of the door. I didn't get a chance to have a proper look at them, but so look, we'll grab a few other bits out of the trade pile another day to build up the budget, but so look, 27 in vouchers all ready to go, and we still have about 20 odd quid worth of trade at home ready to bring in, so we'll keep moving anyway. Head to the two charity shops, hopefully find a bit more to help build the budget. So the shelves were empty this in the last day, which means it's going to be full of games for us today. Let's jump in and grab them. Here we go, last chance to learn to get some games today. So no more games today, unfortunately. I did actually grab that bag of toys for three euro, purely just because there's a little Mario figure in it, but I don't know, maybe there's something else in there that would keep, and it's 
probably been a while since we went through a little bag of mystery toys on the channel, so that might be something fun to do later on. But we'll head back now, I'll do a quick stop in the airside, I don't know if I'll take you in there at me or not. We might go into Smith's maybe and have a look at the games and stuff, but otherwise we'll see you back in the game room, we'll go through the games from yesterday, have a look at this bag of toys and talk about the few other bits that have come in in the last week or so. So stick around for those, some really nice stuff to come. So we're back up in the game room now, we did actually go into Smith's in the end, but the microphones died and besides all that I wasn't allowed to buy any games because I kind of spent a bit too much on frying pans and stuff in home store. But anyway, we picked up a few games in this episode, let's have a look at the few bits that we managed to pick up and then we'll have a little bit of a closer look at some of the really nice stuff that's come into the collection in the meantime since too. So this was our little stack of games that we managed to pick up in this one. We've already talked about Formula 1 and the many reasons why I bought that and the addiction that led to the purchase of it. But anyway, we ended up with a pile of nine games from the first stop and there were only bits that we managed to get in this one. But nothing too crazy to talk about, mostly stuff here that we are probably going to keep for the collection and a few more that we're going to trade off. But in total, the trade value of this little pile here is, well, a couple of the Skylanders and stuff weren't really worth out, or at least we can't bring them up to CEX, so we're not going to include them in the budget. But we're roughly going to round it up to about €20, Euro, which means that our budget for the Twilight Princess going into the next episode is now up to €58. Euro. So we're getting even closer. Hopefully in the next episode or two, we can get that over the line and finally grab a copy of it. Anyway, speaking of Wii U, the only game really worth mentioning in this pile is this copy of Just Dance 2014. Now, an underwhelming find, I know, but it's the first Wii U game that we've actually found in the wild in all the years years of the haunting we've been doing around here. I think once in Drogheda I might have missed a copy of like Nintendo Land that was in a little crate that was at the front of it. I think you only seen it in Eden, but we don't even know if the disc was ever in there so we don't really count that. So this is actually our first Wii U find in the world so we finally get to add it to our collection here which brings us up to a spectacular number of six games. So I don't know what does that put it at? Five percent of the Wii U <laughs> total collection or something like that? Not that we're going for a full set or anything like that, but you never know. If we start finding more and more of them out there, we might start kind of trying to pick up a few more and really trying to bulk that out. So yeah, here's the other few bits that I picked up. Again, I'll throw up random little things. It'll probably pop up here as I'm talking. That'll show what they're selling for, what sort of trade value and stuff. But yeah, like I said, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We spent about 15 quid on this whole pile. We're going to get about 20 quid back in trade, so it's all good. And then the two Skylanders here, I mentioned before that I picked them up because I just wanted the cases for them because these are actually really, really nice condition Xbox 360 cases. And for some reason, like I've got plenty of Wii cases, I've plenty of PS2 stuff I've picked up over the years. I've got some dodgy stuff in my time, but the 360 ones just seem, I don't know whether they're a bit more brittle or something like that. Some of these just seem to come absolutely battered. And we have a few nice games in the collection there that we've got some really nice discs, manuals, and sleeves for the cases are in bits. So I kind of got these just to replace the cases, but I don't think many of these Skylanders discs are actually worth any money. I think there's one on the Xbox One that I missed out on years ago that someone pointed out to me that was a bit of a fail leaving behind and possibly, oh geez, I'm knocking shields around. Possibly, is there a Wii U one that's worth something? I don't know. If you know anything about them, if you know which ones are worth picking up, definitely let me know. I've seen these actually selling on eBay from anything from five to 10 quid in nice condition. And these are both really, really nice discs in here. They look like they've never been played. So I don't know. We'll talk a bit very briefly later on and look at into it maybe next week about our plans for kind of selling a few bits and stuff like that. But I don't know, maybe if we were to sell these as a pair for like, I don't know, would you get a tenner for a pair of them in really nice condition? I don't know, we'll chance around with them at some stage anyway, but yeah, make sure and let me know if there are any of these that are worth picking up or if they're literally only worth grabbing for 50 cent or euro just to use the cases. And then the only other thing that we managed to pick up in this video was this bag of toys. Now, I paid three euro for this purely because I had this little Mario fella in here with the boomerang that I don't have in the little Mario shrine, so I thought, why not, we'll pick it up. I could see kind of a few heads in here that I recognize, like there's a little turtle and stuff, and after I bought it where is it because i haven't actually even opened this bag yet yeah down here somewhere there's a little yoshi buried in there as well so there's all sorts in there i'm not going to throw it now because i'm already fairly conscious of having done a bit of a pre-edit that like i think the out and about footage in this one is well over 20 minutes of this and i tend to shite on when i get up here as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this one i'll touch back on it before we go but i'm going to do a live video probably by the time you're seeing this video i'm hoping to get this out on sunday morning so I have to check my work schedule and stuff like that, but at some stage next weekend, hopefully if we have a bit of time Sunday evening, we're going to jump on and do a live video because we have a few bits that I want to talk about, a few little things to show off and stuff like that. So this might be something that would be a good kind of live video thing to open up and just go through it one by one where we're sitting having a chat. So we're going to keep that one for next week. So if you're really curious what's in here, keep an eye out for that live video. I'll put a little preview for the video up when it's ready to go. I'll do something midweek or I'll put a community post or something like that on YouTube to say it's coming so you can kind of mark your calendars level like that for it but yeah it looks like there's some interesting bits in here it's going to be a bit of fun going through it. and then moving on there are two really nice things that have come into the collection here the first one was a very rare thing that i actually did where i actually went and purchased something i just spent money i know a lot of the stuff that i buy in this channel i kind of try and use trade credit to pick things up but you forget every now and then that like 
like I am a collector, I love seeing stuff come in here. And the odd time you get like a little offer on something that you can't refuse, something that we really, really want for the collection. And in this case, I've seen something that I just absolutely had to have. And I had a few quid there that I was kind of keeping to spend on something sort of nice for myself. So we'll have a quick look at what was in that little, well, we got one nice thing and ended up getting a few bits into a little bundle and then something really class that came in that long after it as well. So this first pickup, if you know me by now, you probably know it's Zelda related, but someone reached out to me on Instagram that were kind of, I sort of fallen out of love with their collection. They kind of got rid of most of their games, brought them up to CX, and they had a few really nice collector's edition things that they kind of wanted to, weren't really too interested in talking about. They just kind of wanted to find people that, sort of fellow collectors that would take them, really appreciate having them in the collection and gave me an unbelievable deal on the stuff I got. So Robert was his name. Just want to say thanks a million for reaching out with this stuff because absolutely delighted to have it in the collection and can't wait to kind of fit it all into the little Zelda shrine here, but we'll look at that now in a minute. But yeah, basically he had a figure that I really wanted. That's on the ground. We'll get to that in a second. But he had a kind of a couple of different bundles that were going. One was a kind of a Wind Waker bundle. I kind of said to him, look, I really want the figure. And the Wind Waker bundle had, you know, the Hyrule Historia book in it. I already have it. I've already found it in a charity shop and given it away to a good friend of mine. So I kind of said, look, is there any chance we can kind of take the figure and maybe take a few bits out of that other bundle? It was no problem at all. He gave me an amazing deal on all the stuff, including postage and everything, which was just it was shipped so quick in absolutely perfect condition when it all arrived. So an absolute dream deal all around. But anyway, just getting into what we grabbed. These were the kind of extra stuff that I managed to squeeze into the bundle. But we've got... As I said, it's sort of Wind Waker themed at the start and then it kind of shifts over to a different one. But we've got the Wind Waker Ganondorf here. This is actually really cool. Definitely a must in the shrine. And little Link plush. We don't have any Link plushies in the collection. We've actually got nothing Zelda related in our plushies, but we have a few Mario. So really cool to have him. Like I said, by the time we get to the big piece that's in here, we're probably going to have to do a pretty decent rejig of the Zelda shrine. But I've been thinking about doing it for a while anyway. So, But yeah, two cool, really nice little pieces that we're going to pop into the shrine here now. So yeah, these are the bits that I was really excited about. Well, the first one, maybe not as much, but it's still really cool. But if you've seen my gaming market video where I went to the Irish gaming market, Shout out to the Irish Gamer Market coming back in July. We'll talk about that again towards the end of the video. But my good mate Brian that I met for the first time had a few little nice bits for me outside the market. And he managed to get me like a... Which one is it? It's like, I think it's Oracle of Ages. It's like a Zelda, kind of a small little graphic novel. And then I seen this Phantom Hourglass one again that was in. I know it wasn't Wind Waker, but you know, Phantom Hourglass, Wind Waker. It's kind of all tied together. But yeah... This one was in there in really nice condition. Unfortunately, now I have two of them, so that's the addiction gone. I'm gonna to have to kind of start finding more stuff and build up a little collection of the Zelda books, which look, that's the way it goes. But two of my favorite things from this were these two diaries. Now, I love a little diary. I'm constantly jotting down ideas for videos that I absolutely never use, but I love a nice hardback diary. I think these two are absolutely class. We probably will write in them as well, even though they kind of look nice. Well, this one looks nice by now. This is fairly plain, but. The likes of these are to be written in. I think they develop a lot more character when you kind of jot your ideas and stuff like that down them and then we'd find a little spot on the shelf when they're full up. So yeah, really nice bits, but let's have a look at the, I was gonna say the main event, the main event for this little bundle, but the main event is still to come after that. So this was the big ticket item from this purchase. It was the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword First for Figures Link statue. Now this is absolutely class. We'll open up here and show you. I'm gonna do this very carefully because I know I have a habit of dropping things when I'm showing them off on camera, so I need to be really careful with this one. I have a good grip from there. So this is from 2015, I believe. I've only got one other first for figure statue here because they're so bloody expensive. And again, whatever about trying to collect a few little books for a few quid each, but trying to collect all these, the expense involved, never mind trying to find the feckin' space. I still don't know where I'm gonna show him, but we'll, like I said, we'll reject the Zelda Shrine and have a figure it out. But I've got one other statue at the moment, which I'll try and get a little bit of B-roll and show you in a little screen up here now, which is the Majora's Mask one. Now the eyes and stuff light up and that, I don't have anywhere near enough room to kind of run cables and stuff, but that's a really cool little piece. And then we're gonna add this fella to it. So so this is the Link Skyward Sword statue. Really cool. The detail on this is absolutely savage. Definitely going to take up a bit of a footprint in the shrine, but I think we can kind of sit it in there and maybe find a few little figures to sit around on there and stuff like that. But yeah, just delighted to have something like this in the collection. You know me, I'm a massive Zelda fan, so anything Link related, we have all our amiibos here still in our boxes and stuff, but we're yet to get like a kind of a decent sized sort of Link figure. So to have this kind of statue in the collection now is really class. And I can't wait to find a really nice spot to show it off in the shrine there. So yeah, moving on to the last item now, definitely last but not least. I've mentioned a few times about a few times I've been lucky enough to win in a few draws that we do in some Facebook groups and stuff like that online. But this was my latest win, so this, draw was kindly hosted by the man himself i mentioned later on the other fella brian from be kind rewind retro he hosted this draw which i was lucky enough to win something that i've never had 
a friend of mine had one as a kid. I remember playing probably one game on it, maybe two games, that was about it. I never really had any desire to pick one up, obviously, as I've gotten more into the retro collecting and stuff like that. I've seen games for it. I've seen other people in the community that are mad for collecting, so it is something that has been on the wish list to pick up for a little while now. But for the first time in my life, we finally have our own original Nintendo Game Boy. Now, this one is in absolutely beautiful condition. Like, I'm just rubbing the screen here because there's like literally fingerprints on it and that's it, but the rest of it is beautiful. There's absolutely barely any yellowing on it at all, and it came with three absolutely classic games. So I've mentioned that there, the one game that I did manage to play in, I think, was Tetris. So you can't have a Game Boy without having a copy of Tetris. So that came with it, which was pretty class. We've got a copy of Mario Yoshi, and then the big ticket game that was in this one. I believe this is one of the slightly more expensive Game Boy games, and not as easy to come by, but as a copy of Beetlejuice. So yeah, I already put in, actually, funny enough, I mentioned earlier on about buying frying pans in home, so one thing I'm addicted to buying every time I'm there is the big bulk load of batteries. I don't know if anyone else is the same as me, but when I see like 20 AA batteries for seven quid, I can't help but pick them up, but it's gonna pay off in this instance because this thing absolutely aids the batteries, if I remember correctly. But yeah, just so cool to have this in the collection. I did kind of get the batteries in and get it turned on. I posted like a little story on Instagram. Don't forget to go and subscribe to me on Instagram. If you have an Instagram, you're not already over there. We do put a nice little bit of bonus content. Not always, but every now and then when we do, it's normally worth checking out. So let's just have a quick show off of this one here. There we go. The old Game Boy Nintendo sound. You can't beat it. And are we going to get our Tetris music? Like I said, I haven't had one of these in my hand about 30 odd years and it just takes me right back. It's absolutely class. I know it's iconic and all, but still. So what else have we to talk about in this one? Oh yeah, the picture frame that you see me pick up in the charity shop earlier on, we actually managed to repurpose that. I forgot to mention, in all the stuff that was in the little Zelda bundle that I got from Robert E. Truen, a really, really cool Wind Waker poster. And it just happened to fit that frame absolutely perfectly. So I'll do a little shot of it up on the wall here beside me, but really class it's like it was made for that frame and it fits up in the game room really nicely there and yeah other than that not really too much else to talk about as i said we're going to do a live next week we're going to do a little update on a few bits if you've been following me on instagram you will have seen a few posts again i'll try and snip in a few bits up here we've been getting some stickers and some business cards printed up lately just something that i wanted to have for when i'm out and about we're going to be trying to go to maybe a few more of these kind of smaller car boot sales and stuff like that so i just thought maybe be handy to have like you know, a little card to hand around if people don't bring games with them, but they mention that they have them at home, we can maybe hand them around, do little deals outside the car boots or stuff like that. I don't know, but just really nice to have. Got a really good deal on those. But the stickers that I got, unfortunately, they haven't quite arrived in time for this one, but show them off in the live video next week. But yeah, if you check out Stickerly on Instagram, they've got a website, stickerly.ie. I'll link it all down below. I'll put little descriptions here as well. But go and check them out. An amazing deal on stickers. They look like they're going to be absolutely class as well. So I can't wait to get a hold of those. Just to kind of have, maybe we'll throw a few of them out at the Irish Game America when we go to that. A reminder that's coming up now in July. It's going to be over two days. It's a full weekend on the 13th and 14th of July. Again, there'll be a link down below to get your tickets. But if you haven't been to one of those events, you have to check it out. Go and have a look at the two videos that I made from the last two events that were there. I'll put little cards up here. I've tried doing that before. I don't know if it works or not, but we'll try and put them in. If not, again, I'll put the link to the Irish Game America down below and then I'll put a couple of video links so you can go and check out those. But it's a quality event. If you're into sort of retro games if you're looking to pick up a few bits for your collection you have to go to this event it's an absolute must not miss but then the other thing that we're thinking about doing with these few bits i've mentioned as i said earlier on and you've seen over the last video or so where we picked up the likes of these plates and stuff like that i have stuff that's been sitting here for years i keep mentioning it on and on and on for ages that i'm going to start kind of selling a few bits off so i've started doing a bit of a clear out here i've gotten a nice little tub nice selection of bits and pieces some odd games some odd merchandise stuff that you've seen me pick up over the years on the channel that i never Got around to selling it we're going to set up a little advert store so again it's not quite up and running just yet so when i do the live next sunday the idea is that as we do that live video that the online store in adverts should be available i say it's an online store it's just a website where you can kind of buy and sell your stuff but i'm hoping to have maybe i don't know at least 15 20 nice items there just to get it started and then as we find stuff as we go along we can kind of pop stuff in there and then we'll use that store and the profits in there to try and build towards getting this laptop and if we manage to pay for that with it then obviously as we go forward we'll start kind of 
keeping the money, maybe we'll put it into picking stuff up at the Game of America, other bits for the collection, maybe improving other equipment that'll go towards the channel as well. So yeah, lots happening around the channel, lots to look forward to. Keep an eye out for that live next week, which just said it'll coincide with the launch of the store and you can go and have a look and see if there's anything there that you'd want to pick up. But yeah, that's everything for this one. We've got plenty coming in the next few weeks. We've a couple of really good videos lined up. Maybe they've secretly been filmed already, so we might have plenty of content coming really soon. But just want to say thanks again for sticking around the channel. Thanks for sticking to the end of the video as always, and we'll see you again in the next one. Cheers.